How's it going, Nate? Welcome back to the Great Crew North. Welcome to the final part of my lawn care basics, part five. Today we're gonna to be talking about the lawn growth pattern. Now the reason why this is part five is because it's a little bit more in depth, but I do recommend knowing this because it will help you understand why and when you're putting everything else down. So there's a chart that I put up over here. This is what the lawn care growth pattern looks like. So as we call it, we call, we have the spring hump. So spring is the best time for top growth. As you know, it's hard to keep up with mowing in spring because your top growth goes crazy and so does your root growth. The water is abundant, the sun is perfect, temperatures are perfect. This is when your lawn thrives. So the best time to push growth and strengthen your lawn, thicken up your lawn, is in spring. Just focus on spring, it's your best time to help growth and help strengthen and grow your lawn. Now the reason why I need to put all that work into spring is because soon we're going to be heading into what we call summer decline. This is this downhill decline. This starts to happen up here in southern Ontario about early June. As soon as temperatures reach over 80 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or about 20, 25 degrees Celsius, this is when our cool season lawns do not like these hot temperatures anymore. And the first time you get a spike of this in May or June, your lawn will shut off. And this is the start of your summer decline. Now, the best way to focus on this is water and mowing. This is how you're gonna prevent your summer decline from going down. The best way to think about this is we know that summer decline is gonna happen. We're trying to prevent how bad it's going to be. So. If you don't water, your summer decline is going to go down farther. If you do water, you might want to soften the curve. So basically, you're just trying to soften that curve in summer. And you're trying to get to that bottom point of your summer decline. Once you get to that bottom point of your summer decline, you've hit rock bottom. Now you start to get into the recovering period. This is where soil temps start to cool down, air temps start to cool down. You start to get lots more water. It helps your lawn start to spike up again in the fall. Now the spike in the fall is not really as big as the spike in the spring because we do get a lot of water but days start getting shorter, temperatures start getting colder and your lawn just kind of starts to shut off. This normally happens around mid-September, you you're not able to cut as often, your lawn's not growing as much, but this is what we call the recovery period, the fall period. This is the best time to do a renovation of your lawn, so that would be overseeding, uh, Resodding a new area because you don't have to do a lot of work because the cooler temperatures and the lots of rain, Mother Nature's help. Temperatures are too unpredictable in the spring, the best time to do renovation. And that is the lawn care growth habit. So we start in the spring with a big hump, we call that our spring burst, then we head into our summer decline, reaching that rock bottom point, heading into fall with a big arc, and then as temperatures cool off, we cool right off into the fall. That's our, that's our growth pattern up here in the north. The Great Green North, my name is Wayne Murray. I hope this video will help you. If you like this series of basic lawn tips, make sure to like down below. If you're looking for more lawn care content, just like this, or more real-time lawn tips, in-depth lawn videos, I have a full YouTube channel right here. Please hit subscribe. More videos will be coming out right now in the spring. From the Great Green North, you can also check out my website or my Patreon. That is where I do real-time lawn coaching for those of you looking for that. From the Great Green North, my name is Wayne Murray. Thank you for watching. Keep it real.